Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and today's video, well, it's in response to a viewer's question. And what it was, was she said, Leah, can you show me how to do a level five drywall finish? Now, maybe you're wondering, level five, you, you mean there's more than one? And yes, there is, and I'm gonna show you coming up next. Okay, in the screen before, you saw the different levels of a, a drywall finish. Now, what we're looking at here, this is a number four finish, and you gotta have a number four to get you to a number five. Gotta start with a number four. So, what is a number four? Well, a number four is three coats of joint compound over fasteners and over joints, then you sand it to a consistent finish. The most important thing is when you sand, and you're over, this is the paper here, and you slide your hand across to where you've mud it, you can't feel any difference. It should be just a smooth transition. But the difference between a level four and a level five isn't that smooth transition. It's not about what you feel, it's all about what you can see. So are you thinking, that looks pretty good. So why do I need a level five? Well, the truth is it does look good. And most of the time, that's the finish you're gonna see, a level four. But every now and then, an architect will put in the blueprints that he or she wants a level five finish. So there's something called porosity. So what does that mean to us? Well, what that means is this drywall paper here, it absorbs paint very differently than over here where we've mud it, okay? And what a level five drywall finish does is it evens it all out. We'll put a light coat of joint compound over the entire surface, really just a film. And what that will do is it will even out the porosity so that when you paint, you can't see a difference. These are the circumstances where you're gonna see a level five. A lot of times when you paint with a high gloss paint, it will just telegraph every imperfection in that wall. And that's when a level five comes in. Or sometimes there's a lot of task lighting, a lot of intense lighting. And when there's a lot of lighting, it will show every imperfection in drywall. And again, this is where a level five comes in. So here's our roller here. It's got joint compound on it. And it's pre-mixed joint compound. Now you want to mix your joint compound, mix a little water in it okay, to make it like a thick pancake batter and you wanna use pre-mixed joint compound. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it on and what you wanna do is you don't wanna roll on more than you can remove. Just start with the small section first because keep in mind, it's just a film. Okay, so we're rolling it on. You want the consistency of the joint compound to be like thick pancake batter. So we're rolling it on, but keep in mind, we're rolling it on, but we're gonna take it off. It's just a film. You wanna keep it manageable to a small section at a time. So just keep in mind that what we're doing is applying a thin coat and then removing it right away. And that's gonna leave behind a film. Clean off your tool and just keep going. So that's it, that's a level five drywall finish. Now all we've done is put on a very light film of joint compound. Now let it dry overnight and sand it if you need to and it'll be ready for prime and paint. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.